This isn't by any means a subject which I or I suspect any of us find easy to discuss. That's why the difficult conversations to have are always the most important and it is our duty for our constituents to have them. It is now more than 20 years since one of my predecessors, as the MP for Keighley, Anne Cryer, first raised her concerns about grooming gangs and child sexual exploitation within the Pakistani community within West Yorkshire. Anne did a good job and brought the issue to the forefront of conversation and did the right thing in raising it. Now, I have only been a member of this House for just over a year, and I have been taken back by the amount of correspondence which I have received on this issue. But I am afraid to say more than 20 years have gone by and nothing really has changed. Now, luckily, I am able to represent one of the best communities we have in this country, and equally, I am incredibly conscious of just how delicate this subject is. But it shouldn't be. My view is, unless we talk about this openly, we are failing. So let's call this problem out for what it is. Predominantly a small minority of largely Muslim men within West Yorkshire, including, I am sad to say, in Keighley, that have been sexually exploiting young children for far too long. And the Muslim community are quite rightly outraged at the entire community being branded with the same accusation. And it is not fair, and it is deeply offensive. The consequences of not taking action are extremely serious. And it is my view that if we pander around the edges, or we fail to talk openly about these challenges, we are failing both the victims and that Pakistani community. These victims, mainly young girls, are having their lives ruined at a young age by this vile and disgusting sexual abuse. In 2016, a group of 12 men who committed serious sexual offences against two girls in Keighley and Bradford were jailed for a collective 130 years. One of those girls was raped by five men in succession. And Madam Deputy Speaker, live cases are still working their way through the courts. Only in October last year, 21 men from Keighley and Bradford were arrested linked to offences alleged to have occurred against a young female between 21 and 2009. And I know the police are working on many other cases. So if we fail to address all of these interlinked social uh, societal issues, we run the real risk of failing our communities and making them suffer even more. And unfortunately, the worst of humanity will exploit it for their own gain. And this has happened, Madam Deputy Speaker. In 2005 general election, on the back of these very issues, the British National Party made my constituency of Keighley their number one target seat. It was a campaign that damaged race relations and caused huge upset and hurt. The people of Keighley quite rightly rejected the BNP's nonsense. But if we do not tackle this issue with urgency, we run the risk and that others will try and take advantage of it. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, these are difficult issues to tackle. But all of us in this House have to take responsibility to take action. Because if we don't, we have failed. And the consequences for our communities will be far too great. So I say to everyone across Keighley, I will represent you as best as I can.